Uh, hi everybody, uh, we're here today with uh, Ronnie Clemo and Christophe and myself uh, to introduce Ronnie who's a financial planner who's now working with uh, Keypoint and um, introducing what he has to offer for you guys as services going forward. So Ronnie, please feel free, give us a bit of background about yourself yep. first of all. Yep. Thanks Chris, thanks everyone for uh, investing a little bit of time in this video, I hope you get some good value out of it. Um, a little bit about myself, I've been a financial advisor since 2001. Um, I've seen close to 1,300 people over that time and it's really given me a good breadth of experience across people's situations. I've seen self-employed, um, mums and dads, business owners, retirees, pre-retirees, all across and just gives me a really good handle on people's situations Absolutely. Um, and allows me to relate to them very easily. Excellent. So. Um, some things that I hear from clients at the time is why a new financial planner? Why are you different to other planners out there? Yep. That, it's a common question that I get a lot of the times. So. Yeah, yeah. I think there's, there's four key areas. Firstly, it's communication. Um, I've, I've often been told that I speak in people's language, I speak in plain talk, not yes. jargon. Yes. There's a lot of people out there trying to make things more complex than what they are. And I think when it becomes too complex, no matter how good the benefit is, people don't take any action. Yep. So simple communication. Uh, transparency around fees. So purely a fee for advice business, both Excellent. upfront and ongoing. Good. Tell people what they're gonna be up for in advance. There's no surprises. Good. We don't take commissions and haven't since 2005, a long oh, time ago. Um, and that's really just to give people confidence and transparency. Because yep. that leads on to the third point, which is it's all about strategy. Yes. It's not a product business. It's about advice and relationships and goals and strategy. And even if there's no m money being invested, there's still advice and strategy, and that's why we charge a fee for advice. So you're really looking at the long term of long term longevity of the client. We're looking at the client's goals and lifestyle, no matter what time frame that is. Yes. And we're dealing with short, medium, and long term aspirations. Excellent. Yep. Um, and then finally, it's probably around service. Um, I've come from a background of uh, working in five star hotels across Australia and the world, and service is paramount. And I've always carried that forward into this financial planning business because I think people care about people that care about them. Yes. Um, people come back for a relationship. I mean, I think we used to talk about a restaurant, you can get food anywhere, but you come back for service. Yep. The same in this business, you come back because people. We care about people, we look after them. We do our utmost to keep people up to date with what's necessary. Um, we provide annual reviews as a bare minimum because we have to know what's going on with people. Um, Got to keep them focused on where they're going, um, pull them back and keep them accountable sometimes. So um, to try and keep those goals in line so we're making sure that we're making headway towards their future dreams and goals. Headway and tracking so that we know that and we're tracking. on track. Yes. Because um, a lot of people, think they've done something once and then they don't know where it's actually taken yes. them. It was a good idea a few years ago, but is it still relevant? 100%. Um, so I think it's those four things. It's communication, um, transparency around fees, uh, strategy over product, and, and really just service. Yep. Does it matter what age group I'm in, out of curiosity? Like if I'm an 18 year old or I'm a 60 year old, like should I be at a stage of life that I'm seeing, or is it pretty much the entire Look, time frame? We're really passionate about helping people with money and my wife's actually built a program around teaching kids with money. So it really doesn't matter the age. But right. realistically, certain people are gonna have certain life stages. Yes. And we use a process called the game of money and we relate it to moving around a dice a baseball diamond. Yep. And people will be at first base, second base, third base and home base. It's just a matter of identifying where people are on that journey and helping them move through. And identifying their strategies from it. Yep. Excellent, excellent. So if someone wanted to take action or, or catch up with you or do, you know, and take that next step, what would they do? Yep. Um, well, look, don't leave it like most people do, which is when they sit down in front of me, oh, we should have done this years ago, you know? Yes. You know, we've always been thinking <laughs> about this. Um, to be honest, a lot of people admit that they spend more time planning their own overseas holiday than they do sitting down with an advisor. Um, and it's, it's right. not a long, complicated process. Good. So it's good to first know. thing is call the office and make a time or just have a chat to me and see if, see what you know we can do for you. Okay, um, alternatively, under the video here, there should be a link. Um, it's a financial health check. It's a really simple process. Yep. Um, and it will just Great. give people a really clear snapshot about where you are right now and whether you need to take that action. Excellent, um, excellent. Which, so that's what I'd encourage. Make a phone call or complete the health check. Fantastic. 
Okay. Well, if you can, if you'd love to, please, we'd love to encourage you to make that, do that checklist, give us a phone call, have a chat with Ronnie, and take that next step, take that action. So, thank you, Ronnie. I really appreciate it, and um, we're really looking forward to hearing from you. And um, have a great day. Thanks. Thank you.